And hello and welcome everybody to an all new episode of Isle 2 1946. And today we are going to continue my campaign of the Spitfire. And we are now playing around Dunkirk. Dunkirchen in German. Which means that we are at the siege of Dunkirk. And we are trying to delay the German forces attacking Dunkirk so that the Brits can um, bring out a lot of their stuff before the mainland of France finally gets cut off by German forces. Yeah, um, just like in my German campaign I have flown a lot of missions. Not really a lot. Um, let's see here. I flew eight sorties and some of them I had to just cancel <laughs> because they were buggy. Um, I didn't start it right at the beginning of the war. I started kind of in the middle of, fight of uh, the Battle of France, but um, yeah, that's why I'm still a flag officer and nothing higher. I also only flew a hurricane until now. Um, so far, what did they shut down? One of the main E, C, E, and another E. And uh, Heinkel 111, so I only have five kills. I'm an ace now. But, well, <laughs> I'm only a pilot officer, not like in the German campaign. Uh, we are around the same date right now. But, well, um, Mr. John Doe wasn't able to um, get a lot of missions on his back and not a lot of kills also. Um, yeah, my other name is John Doe. We also are from Southam, and this is the same because we were born in 1910, just like our good old friend Mr. Stein. With the only difference, and Mr. Stein moved to Germany, but um, we were going to the same kindergarten together, and we know each other for a long time. In fact, our um, parents used to be neighbors, but now we are on opposing fronts. You know, so if you look at this face, it could be that the father of Mr. Stein is also the father of this guy. Maybe we are adopted, a twin, you could say. I guess we will never find out. <laughs> yeah, um, I got uh, medals already. Um, Sadly, they are still in Russian, and I have, haven't figured out yet how to change that. Um, I managed to do it in a German campaign, but I have no idea how to do it in English. One, well, um, This is a flying medal, something like that. Uh, defense medal and a distinguished flying medal. I think this is a distinguished flying medal. It's saying medal here. It's also saying medal here. I cannot read the rest. <laughs> That's Russian after all. I speak a bit of Russian, but not very much, and um, Kyrillic is still a problem. Okay, let's take a look at our roster here, so you can see we had only at eight sorties. Um, well, I think if I can click on the pilot profile and then on detail, um, you can see that one, two, three, four of them really didn't happen because I needed to cancel them. Um, it still counts as uh, success because I said it this way because I don't want to lose successful missions because the game did bad. <laughs> um, we only lost four people, not in the German, like in the German campaign where we lost around, I think, 20 or so. Um, we got Heat, Jones, Hyde and Gogan and the only one I think was him that got more than, yeah, he, he got no kills. Um, everyone else had like one kill or two kills, so zero. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking everything back here. Um, he has one kill and one ground kill. And he was the squadron leader. Yeah, he had three kills in 17 sorties and he also has a distinguished flying cross. Well, um, now we have a new flight sergeant, um, Mr. Colson, who has one kill compared to my five kills, of course, this is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so far we haven't been really successful in the number one squadron, it seems. But I hope to change that. Um, I have next to no missions, um, as you can see. Um, I'm at the bottom with two, eight, nine. Uh, with the other guys, but everyone else has around 15. But I have the most kills in my squadron, and only Mr. Hat here, and... Paulson managed to score. Oh no, here yeah, Stevens. Stevens also got kills. So we need to keep that in mind. We aren't really on our way with veterans. 
um, which of course um, is also related to the way the British pilots were fighting uh, because they took turns between fighting and teaching and having resting time uh, while the Germans um, got in their machines every day sometimes twice a day during the big fights and yeah we need to keep that in mind um, I have flown one mission over to Dunkirk this is where I shot down the HE-111 but this will be the second mission so um, let's see what we have here um, Flag Sergeant Longdon joined the squadron Flag Sergeant Coates joined the squadron um, it's May, uh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, weather is good, clouds are 3200 feet, um, wind and everything else, okay, so there's no problems here, just like gust, I think like gust means um, that we have a bit of side wind, but not a lot, and only in lower areas. Anyway, <coughs> pilots, Flight Lieutenant Colson will lead the group to Sector AK-20. Air activity in the area has been high in recent days, so keep your eyes open all the time. We expect an enemy air attack on our tanks in the area. Pilot Officer Doe will lead the second flight. Flag Sergeant Longdon will fly his wing. You will fly at 19,086 19, 19, feet. Distant to target is 46 nautic miles. Okay, my group is Colson, Coates, Cable, Dorking, and Doe in London. We are flying together. Okay, let's have a look at Mr. Doe, because I want to get a bit of story in here. Um, <laughs> I found out... Not Mr. Doe, Mr. Longdon. Longdon. Um, yeah, I found out that in the German campaign this isn't really working because people are dying all the time. Okay, we are flying with um, Rupert Longdon, who is from Dublin. So he's from the island. I hope this is right. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know much about England. But I think so, yeah, I think um, Dublin is an um, island. Please don't hit me. Glasgow was Scotland, right? Yeah, Glasgow was Scotland, so this was Ireland. Yeah, we are flying with the Irish. Hopefully he will bring us luck. Okay, let's have a look at my plane here. We are flying in the good Spitfire Mark 1, F1, sorry. Uh, it's, by the way, deliberate that I won't tell you which plane we will fly next. Um, in a British campaign you're flying a lot of planes because they keep changing and keep getting better and better. In the German campaigns um, we will be stuck with one kind of plane for a while. But uh, here we go, we start with the Spitfire F1, 1939. Default, of course, weapons loadout. Um, we have eight machine guns in this thing. All of them are in the wings, so it's really hard to aim them. I tend to find, but I guess it will be all right after a while. I just need to get used to it. So I've seen I only flew f like four, five missions or four missions, so uh, yeah, it can be a bit difficult. Question now is why do I have a why do I have a German skin? What are the British skins? No, this is this are German skins. D E Germany. That's K R U. Uh, Russian, Russian, more Russian. Is this is Hungary, French. I have no idea about the skins. Let's keep just keep the skin. I found one where he's smiling the whole time. I like that one. But I don't know which one it is. Anyway, okay, let's apply for the mission. Let's apply again. Um, once again, um, this is the first mission, so I will show you the whole thing. Also, I found out that my language gets kind of weird when I'm talking fast. So I'm trying to talk a bit slower. Just that um, every time I'm doing this, I get very excited. <laughs> and then I tend to just talk faster and faster without thinking about how I say words. Yeah. At least I have coffee when I'm flying German. I drink tea, of course. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> okay, let's set my track IR to something where I call use it. Okay, 
Well, let's start the engine. Start the engine. Comrade. Comrade, start the engine. Why is my IR jump? It's going to look down, it's the same. Whoa, 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 break, break, break. Ah! <clears throat> Yeah, um, <laughs> turns out my swaddle was still open. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you can see, I'm a professional British pilot. <laughs> Which means I never play <laughs> play Russian planes. Nah, not plus Russian, uh, British planes. Most of the time I'm flying Russian planes or f fuck a roof. Okay, my track IR is weird today. Let's just... Get it over here, maybe. Yeah. I don't know why it is why it is doing that. Anyway, okay, let's kick on the engine. Make sure the throttle is at zero. We don't have flaps, we only have landing flaps. Let's close the radiator. Can we get up a little faster? I can open the canopy. Why not? No. Okay, this is Spitfire L, so we shall be F. Why are we F? S, F, and then, yeah, why are we F? It's not really done for a while. I am, but no, it's not, that's not, that's not the thing. Okay, let's set our mirror here. What is happening here? <laughs> Hopefully that will stop once we're on the air. Sometimes the game is a bit weird. We have to that. Okay. Looks like he is checking his engine now. So let's do the same thing. Close the canopy. Oh, stop shaking. Um, I can lock my tail wheel. See here? Oh, I can! I can lock it now. The hurricane didn't have the option. Okay, so this thought could have blown a lot mostly. Uh, I tend to find that uh, Spitfire is really easy to get up. And it's also really easy to land. Compared to the BF on the line, because in this plane um, the field isn't like here. And it's right in the middle plane the whole time and uh, you don't need to compensate for anything. It's generally pretty helpful. Okay, I uh, need to get my gear up, of course. You can see the top or down. Black and it's up. I don't need to worry about my flaps. My flaps are where they should be. But I need to turn off my wings now. It's sometimes happening when I press 2, sometimes it's not, and sometimes it is. So it has to do with the outtake. Oh yeah, and here we go. Biggest problem right now I have is uh, Spitfire. Uh, when I put the nose down to nose down to hard, it's killing the engine. I mean, because the British engine um, isn't designed for negative G. Uh, basically, what's happening is you press the fuel up, you go down, and then the engine can't work anymore, and it will damage the engine if you do it too often. So. I need to keep an eye out for that. Um, I also need to... S oh! Wrong button. I swear it, Dimitri. I'm a professional. Professional IoT player. So this is a problem. I forgot where I put my cockpit settings. So now we're gonna have to find... Location lights. Yeah, I think I have to need to look that up right now. Let's start the autopilot by the way. Can't do it. Okay, because the gate is playing in the background. Okay, um, prop pitch. Increase the mixture. Yes, increase mixture around here. The charger is on the numpad. Increase prop pitch. Um, I already 
took that. I need the you know, regular places. Did they already take it? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, um, increase the profit I, decrease the profit O, and uh, unite engine. Party engine. Please cover engine. No cover engine. Cover right, fly left, airline runs. By the way, this is my setup here. I needed to change everything um, since I have track I don't know. Because some stuff stopped working before. Top shots, toggle wings. The left engines. Where is it? Drop pitch. So it is toggle engine. Let's put it on control I. And hope for the best. Okay, let's see. Looks like I'm flying with my guys here. And I'm also doing a left turn, so I'm not very busy. Okay, then it looks like we have to fly into the sun the whole time. Not here that. Okay, this is what it is. Okay, let's open the radiator to stay cold and clean here. I need to change something with my tech R. It's, everything is working just fine if I'm looking around, but as soon as I'm just leaning in, <laughs> I'm just leaning in. I'm not looking to the left or to the right. And it starts doing this for some reason. Okay. I know why. So like, who knows? It's not really problematic. Because I, as long as I can look here and down here, I think it will be alright. Just bad if, it, if I try to look at my speed and that kind of stuff. Also, by the way, speed. Let's put on the speed bar and put it to kilometers an hour. Because I run into the problem regularly that I don't know how fast I am actually going. And right now, it's 220 kilometers an hour. This is something I can walk with. I'm at 1,100 meters and 260. But if I look, look down here, yeah, okay, miles an hour. <laughs> uh, 220, alright. Is it good? Is it not good? <laughs> ah. The loft and metric system. That's what it's about in the lock. So, um, what do we have in this cockpit? Okay, let's turn on the autopilot. Because this will get way too difficult if I'm doing the while flying. So, we got our altitude, we got our oxygen here, um, and we have the time. Um, we have also here the altitude. What's the difference between that and that? I don't know. I should look that up. Ah, so there's something to do with the regulator from March 7. Okay. Um, we got our artificial horizon, which is much better than the thing I have in my E1 right now. Um, we have a uh, small little compass. Uh, I don't know what they call it in English. Tidal compass in German. Um, we have an indicator if we're going up or down. This is showing us if our gear is up or down. Um, flaps is this switch. This is for the reflector side because I can change my reflector side if I will be an up pilot right now. This is showing me if I climb or if I descend. So same as this thing. And this is just telling me if nose is up or down. And this is telling me exactly how fast and how good I am climbing. This is also part of the um, Let's go right. So if I would, I, know, I think I need to deactivate my power here for a second. So if I would roll around here, it will tell me. And same goes, of course, for descent. You see, I'm going down now. Nose down. I'm pulling up. Whoa. Nose goes up. 
and everything's really all right. Okay, let's turn the alpha pilot on back again. This is super unprofessional. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, this is a bit hard here. Um, those more track are really what we're going to look at it. Okay, um, we have our boost, our uh, wall merged power, it's down to the pressure. Um, our all temperature on the left side, water temperature on the right side, and gallons of fuel. Like, how long can we stay in air until we need to think about getting down again? And this is just our uh, oil. I'm not all we have left, and I think it's not working. It doesn't look very animated. Um, this is the chassis. This is. I think this has something to do with the breathing. I'm not very sure, but I guess it is this way. Um, let's pause my my clicker is in pausing. Very weird today. And um, this is my trim. This is the gauge selector, and if I would go to. Alright, if I will go with the autopilot for a second here, um, I can show you that I can change my throttle here and my prop pitch. I can change around here. And I can change my mixture. Or not, because it's not really. I really need to fly more. What about your sides, turns out? <laughs> I don't seem to be able to do stuff I really should be able to do at the first time. And the problem is that before I switched, uh, I really need to get some IP. Um, the problem is that before I switch to my head switch as my main zoom option, um, my head switch had all the things like all the mixture. Um, the prop pitch, magnetos, I had everything on my head switch. And now that I need to have it on my keyboard, I really haven't gotten around to set everything right. And of course, in the German machines, you don't really need to pay attention to all this kind of detail. But in the British machines, it can save your life. So I really need to get on it when I find the time. If I remember correct, the red light is for. Um, engine overheat, so if this thing is blinking, I know that I need to open my radio a little bit. Okay, looks like we are getting on a real height here. My mate is still with me, non dial. He's always doing good maneuvers right now. I need to catch up with my other studies. Uh, yeah, we are sitting in a split fire. It moves really up pretty fast. At least a lot faster than the good old Larry Gans, but we aren't as fast as the German 109. So if I'm fighting the 109, I won't be able to pursue it unless it has uh, a lot less energy than me. So I will concentrate on trying to get them um, while they are below me. So I can really move them from behind and shoot them down. And the rest of it will just try to avoid them and they are trying to boom and zoom me so I will fly turning a lot here. It's not that I'm not used to flying this Spitfire, but I never really fl um, flown this with um, Tekar and it's speaking wise since everyone. I once played as a normal IoT campaign uh, but this is against Japanese planes. And that's a whole lot of different. As well, this is a um, fly in a sea theory spitfire in there. And the one is a way different to what I'm sitting in here now because I only have the small machine guns. And in general, this is. A a heavier plane. And now it's the 
500 alone here. Um, we are very close to Fort Sale. Zero nine zero altitude. Zero nine zero should be on north, right? Yeah, south. Okay, flying to the west here. Okay, so it should be a lot. As you know, the enemy gets shown in my map. That is because I have read a friend campaign before and sometimes I never met any opposition. <laughs> so I turned on the map but I can't turn it off anymore. At least not that I know of. Well, let's just have an eye out for the enemy and for my friends. There they are. They are flying a lot higher than me. Maybe I should try to get a bit up. I should enjoy uh, my package. The ball to increase, uh, decrease, and the R to increase. And keep putting the wrong thing. That's usually a sign that I should be just changing it. It helps that I'm left handed. Because this my I can steal the plane with my right hand and then. We really find the right letters. I love them. Why, you might ask, aren't you flying with your left hand? Well, because this joystick is designed for right handers, and when I was young, and I got this joystick for a birthday. By the way, this is Force Feedback 2. I have it since I'm 16. I'm 27 now, and I still have it. It's still working. And I use it a lot, and it survived like five or six movings. So, <laughs> they called movings? I move places. <laughs> the joystick moves with me. And it's still going. So, I cannot complain. And um, yeah, anyway, this, this joystick is designed for right cameras because. When I was young, um, we still had these weird um, regulations in Germany that you can't be a left-handed person unless a doctor gave you kind of a permission to be a left-handed person. And I got tested and the doctor said, no, he's not left-handed, he is a right-handed guy. And my, my parents figured out that I was never able to write really good in school. Uh, I really <laughs> could uh, I could learn writing really fast with my left hand when my right arm was broken. And they tested me again, and again the doctor said, "No, no, he's a he's a, left, uh, he's a right handed person." Because it looks like in the GDR, uh, doctors were told that left handed persons are mentally disordered. <laughs> the doctor tried to help me by telling everyone that. I am left. Uh, I am right-handed. So people won't think less of me. So I learned everything with my right hand while being left-handed. So it's not really a problem flying right-handed here. I don't really run into much of the, many of the problems right-handed um, left-handed persons run into normally. It's kind of easy. I'm not really good at it. Okay. Let's get him. These are battlefields. Not battlefields. <laughs> BFs. Messerschmitt, 100 chance. These are twin engined, really, really big planes. There's a guy sitting with a machine gun on the backside, trying to do mean things to us. And they are also. Oh, hello! And they are also really mean if they are sitting behind us because they are fast and. They have big machine guns. But in a regular fight, I should be able to beat them any day because they can just have many them. As long as I have enough energy, that is. Hey, my speedboat is showing good stuff. Okay, I'll set it back to kilometers an hour. How much is that? 
I'm on with 60 something miles an hour. Okay, we got G87 around here, and these are of course our main target because they are trying to bomb the harbor. You might know them as the Stuka bomber. And if I can grab a few of them before they bomb the harbor, that is a good idea then. I don't really need to shoot them down. Um, as long as they are dropping the bomb load before doing, they can do any damage. I think we'll be alright. I think we should be right above German troops right now, so... If they drop the bombs now, they might even hit their own guys. Not that this is implemented in the game, but... Yeah, think about it this way. Okay. Let's have a really sure shot about one end. They do have gunners in their hands in. Do you have someone here behind me? No, no. Always check your six, kids. Always check your six. I'm super slow. But I will try to grab him anyway. Come on, man. Just go down. Please. Should kick on the WP up there. I'm done with him. Okay. Yeah, he's burning, he's going down. Okay, number one. What of the day, so to speak. Okay, let's stop my WP. Got some good hits on him, I think. I was getting really fast here. He's going into dive. I can follow him in a dive, he's a dive bomber. So it's a full drop. Oh, he exploded. Nice. Okay. Kick on the WP. I don't know where the BF 110s are, I don't know where everybody is, but I know that these Jews have to go down before something bad happens. Whole name of them, of course, is the Junkers. Damn it, I'm out of ammo! It would have been a perfect shot. I forgot that the Spitfire comes with basically no ammo. <laughs> yeah. So we're heading home. Yeah, I did next to no damage to these things. And now we need to go home because we are dry. In later versions of the Spitfire I will have more armor with me. I think I do have one of them and I shot the deal one in ten of it. One oh ten, one hundred ten. doing good things, but not because I'm damaged, just because um, it's probably not the best engine I can. Okay, let's put my guy on autopilot and let's see what the enemy is doing. Oh, this is the one we shot. We shot number C. Let's stop my trigger. I think we attack number C. Yeah. So looks like we got his. Right engine a bit. It also be this one. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Okay, and both of them have smoking engines, but they seem to be alright. Yeah, two of them lying on the ground. This is a Heinkel. This is another Heinkel. Not four Heinkels. Uh, they are right now at Margate. Uh, Ramsgate. I guess they are trying to bomb our airfields, but this is what they're doing over there, because it's kind of a bomb. Yeah, and there goes the bombs. from the tents. They are shooting the airport up pretty badly. And I don't have machine guns to defend myself with the weekend. These are the use. They drop their bomb load. There are a lot of them. Fine, fine. 
Chicago because I was like killed from the home. So, I hope my own fucking scary home right now. Now we have a lot of profiles. I don't know what my colleagues do here, but we need to get home, man. I don't have any ammunition and I don't want it to run into a group of here 109s while I'm not having any ammunition. Also, well, our leader said, hey man, it's time to go home. Uh, it's like we didn't get the message. Okay, let's see. Uh, the 87s are going home now. So, just the port of Dunkirk got, got it pretty bad today. It's like they were not concentrating on the group of French tanks down here. We can take a look at the, at the harbor, but I don't really want to get down too much because then we are at level with the idea of 100 tanks. And I want to have a bit of space underneath me so I can just go down quickly. I the same loops behind me. When I'm going down, I can do what it was like the S split. And just pull off. And fleeing is really what we're doing. Just part of the wall. I'm just going over there to try to shoot down some bombers and yeah, it's just a bit kind of a futile resistance but every day we can earn the British military to get the forces of the mainland. I don't see anything burning down there on the port, but I'm saying that it's not there because I'm sitting here and um, it's without 400 meters. I didn't see any ships, which is weird. Let's go down a bit. I'll power it down and then I'm to the rest of the The airport looks pretty empty. Is the port popping in? I'm at 600 kilometers an hour. I think I need to get up again. Because I don't want to lose the energy. This was a bad idea though. Well, could be worse, I guess. I know there's nothing behind me, so I can do a bit of sexy here. Okay, let's kick on the tank compression. I think our group is going on now. Those are still rotating with empty machine guns. Why not? <laughs> I promise this gets better as soon as we are right over the battle of England. I don't know why this part of the campaign is uh, buggy at some point. Because uh, there's really no reason to stay around when every one of the group has the energy in it. At least my guy is with me here. Yeah, we are pressing the view of one other chance. If I had any, any shots left, I would have gone after them right now. But I don't, so yeah. Um, also, my convergence was a bit off. I think I need to play around with that a bit. Um, with the British planes, you really need to pay attention you know, to the convergent at the beginning because yeah, you have eight machine guns, but they have a really small caliber, so you really want to have a good conversion where uh, when you shoot the machine guns, everything is hitting at one spot. And it was doing that when they were right in front of me. I just shot too early because I'm more used to the range of the guns. 109 right now, and I talked about playing uh, the British and the German planes. One of the nozzer, like play German, play bits, play German, play bits. And the problem with that is that I will need to relearn the everything every time I'm sitting in the other plane. Yeah, I think I need to concentrate on one to game first. I don't know how the report is. 
but I guess you will be able to find out as soon as it happens. Okay, looks like we are close to landscape right now, we have way too much speed for landing, so I will do... Um, I will just fly really low over our landscape here. Looks like it. There's an industrial part. That's where people live. Yo! Take a glance upon the glory of this big fire while I'm passing your town and look at it under two seconds. So I am not able to speak English really good at all. <laughs> I'm really not able to uh, do an English impression here. Could say mate a lot, I guess. But hello, old chaps. Look at me. Wow, oh, I'm booming over your city, over your hamlet. Oh, this is Hamlet Cold. This Hamlet is Cold in North Holland. Don't have a name. I think I can learn a lot about British towns and the British country land. So I will take the time to look stuff up. And I guess I will. Because I really like to do that in, in the game. I like to be able to know where I am. Really. Okay. Let's land. Just spread fire. Which is a bit difficult, y'all. <laughs> uh, please don't remember what to say earlier, but it's easy. Um, it's a bit difficult around here because um, you really don't see where. The airfield is <laughs> because everything is green. You don't have a real runway. There's some other places. And the landing gears are way too low. Switch to server. Uh, looks like I'm coming in good. Right to the right. And I should be good. Put the gear down. Kill the engine. I really kill the engine. Whoa, 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 we have got something ripping off and burning. Oh, I think I lost my... I think I lost my wheels back there. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. So, of course, it wasn't a textbook landing. Yeah, I ripped my wheels off in one of the trees. This is, this is what happens if you're taking my mouse to full. Yeah, he is a smiling guy. I wanted him. Hello. Yeah, he's so happy. Look at him. Look at him happy, happy about this landing and also getting a kill. This wasn't really a good mission, but I did more than most of my guys, so I can tell you that for a fact. Okay, let's open the canopy and breathe the good English air. I think the British air was good at that time, at least up there in the north, because the smoking chimneys are more in this action, in this area, not action. <laughs> In the good north, I'm not really in the north. I'm in the north and south side of South England. Five, five. Yeah, also, we have here Foxton, Jurgensee, Dover. Southampton should be here around here, right? About Foxton. I guess we get the northern map once it comes to the real Battle of Britain, where also London is involved, because I can't really find London. It should be to the left here. But I can zoom more to the left. Yeah, our guys are still just curving around in front by our wingmate. What's the wingmate? The wingmate! <laughs> our main man, of course. Let's take a look at the juice. The U87 is a landing. Oh. White flower, a white mountain flower. I don't know the English of it. Those are the people on the tents. Looks like the ones that get smoky disappeared. Oh, yes, one burning thing. Could be one of the one of tents. 100 tents, not 100 tents. This is a good looking plane. It's also a really bad plane, but it's good looking, you have to get in there. Look at these machine guns. Two there, two there, 
and the wings up there. It's devastating. Like, if you can get an enemy in front of you, you will be able to shoot him down. But the problem is that uh, you are pretty slow compared to uh, 109, and <laughs> you have no uh, turnability at all. In a real battle of Britain, um, these guys go uh, fight their escorts, despite they should not be they were planned as the main fighter for the German forces. And they need to fight this war because they were shot down all the time. But if you can move out of the way, uh, you don't really need your machine guns. That's not good. Okay, I end this mission now. Let's take a look on what's happened while we were flying around. Okay, um, Colson got two kills, Cable got one kill, and Doe got one kill. I'm Mr. Doe, so I got one kill. I got uh, you, 57, should be around here. Uh, we're coping with them, yeah. BF 110, C4 got shut down by Colson. Another 110, C4 got shut down by Colson. And maybe I should have concentrated on the BF 110s, but I think they are, they were the minor danger to the port and uh, that's why I acted the way I did okay apply something gets plotted oh I got the distinguished flying cross did I have this already? no I didn't got the cross I got the medal and I got promoted to flying officer so it looks like the Headquarters liked my idea of going for the bombers instead of getting into a dodge fight with 110s. Okay, let's take a look here. I still have my Spitfire. Why am I here? I don't want to be here. I want to be in a roster, of course. A roster. Okay, yeah. I'm up here now. Flying officer. Right underneath the flight lieutenant Colson. So it got two kills in last mission, but I got one kill and that makes me happy. And I got this thing. A distinguished flying cross. It goes well together with my distinguished flying medal and my defense medal. I'm happy. And you should be happy because this episode is finally over. <laughs> I see you guys on the next mission. An oil 2 battle of the West Fronts and the Siege of Dunkirk. But I guess I will fly more German right now. I think this is the bad idea. I will fly... Um, was my German pilot until I reach this day. It's right now the May of 23rd. This is 23rd May. May of 23? Please correct me, as always. I'm trying to learn English here. So please correct me if I said something so wrong that you got cringes. <laughs> that your belly hurts and your head hurted. And yeah, just tell me in the comment section. I will be very grateful for corrections. And yeah, have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.